In this quick tip, we are going to learn about getting the value of an input. Here we have an input element, and to the right of it, we have a text element. This text element is going to display the input box's value. To do this, we add dynamic data of input box's value to the text element like so. So let's preview this. When we finish typing in the input box, the value appears in the text box. It's doing this because we told it to take the value of the input. Getting the value of inputs is one of the most common things when building your app. In fact, we can save an input's value to the database using the same principle. Let's say we wanted to build a way for users to change their name. We would use the action make changes to current user and set the custom field name to input's value. While this is a basic principle, you'll be using this everywhere throughout all of your applications. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io slash academy.